good morning from Amsterdam guys. We have just landed. It is April 19th and it is 7 a.m. here. It's actually 6. Why are you pushing me? <laughs> it's Chill 6 out. hours ahead of Toronto which means it's currently 1 a.m. something there. We essentially have been flying for the past 24 hours. We flew to New York for like an hour and a half, landed there, had like a five, six hour layover, and then we got on a flight to Amsterdam for seven hours, now we're finally here. The whole night before, I didn't sleep either, so I've essentially kind of been up for like the past 48 hours. I don't know if we're gonna get any rest now because we're trying to check into our Airbnb to see if we can get early check-in before we head out for the day. So if we do make it in, we're gonna get about like an hour, two hours nap max. But I'll essentially be going on like 72 hours of lack of sleep. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna last. See, 72 hours. We can do this. You're not gonna last. Anyways, we're here with Mel and Dave. T and Lawrence are actually already here in Amsterdam. We're gonna be meeting up with them today um, once we check into our Airbnb and figure stuff out. So we're just waiting for Mel and Dave to get off the plane. They sat a couple days behind us, and I think we see them. Hello, friends. Hello. Welcome Hello. to the Netherlands. Are you ready to make it to the tool field? Amsterdam. <laughs> you instantly have an accent. Let's go get our yeah, luggage. at the Airbnb office um, that we're staying at and now we're on the hunt to get sim cards for our phone so that I can finally have data again because I need that when I travel so I can access the internet. First project of the day, project acquire sim cards. Pro tip guys, do not buy a SIM card at the airport because 10 gigs, how much was it? 25. 25 euros. No, no, by the airport. It was like oh, 60 euros. 60 euros. A billion dollars. At Vodafone. We got this for 25 euros, guys. So much cheaper. While uh, the boys sneaker shop, we chill. Now we know what it feels <laughs> like when guys come with us into like girly stores or cafes. Or cafes, yeah, or when we're shooting, they just sit around doing nothing. It's gonna happen though. Of course. As Dave said, that's the reason why we came to Amsterdam. Right? Right? Yet another sneaker store that the boys have entered into. We're gonna shop in Bershka. Deuces, boys! I just wanna see if the prices are similar or like... Well, we don't even have a Bershka. No, but I like in Japan, we always go to Bershka. Ah, true. I'm cheaper here. than Japan. There's like no import fees or taxes, right? Oh my god, so much cheaper. Cute. Should we go shopping at Bershka while we're here? Mucho, it's like Forever 21 prices. Oh, well, it is kind of like Forever 21 $19. Canadian? Canadian. Can't wear that. My boobs would just like not keep that up. It'll look good at you though. But yeah, that's good to know. Once again, following the boys into another sneaker store. I just liked it. Just gravitate towards it. Ooh, I like this colorway. This is my jam. These are clean. Uh, Expression of a board mel. <laughs> Picking up our bikes from the discount bike rental. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, no. no. It's like your life is coming full circle now. Is this for a reservation? So we just uh, completed our first bike session in Amsterdam. How do you feel? Give me a skateboard. <laughs> I don't think people even skateboard here. I haven't seen a Yo, single one yet. Got a skateboard. I haven't seen a single one on the road yet. There's gotta be somebody. No. Find me a skateboarder. 
You too. find yourself a skateboarder. You find me a skateboarder. No. We're picking up our very first meal in Amsterdam. I don't know. What is this place called? Tequil. Shit. Shit. Oh god. Clearly, we don't speak Dutch. <laughs> We're gonna have a, a Dutch mukbang. Thing. Got a salami with mild cheese on a holy bun. Yeah, let's give this a try. Not bad. Dry. Do you wanna sit here? Does it just taste like a salami sandwich? <laughs> well, for ten dollars. No, it wasn't. It was four bucks. Four euros. Four euros. What is that? Six? Seven Canadian? Seven Canadian. I would go to Subway instead. Sorry, guys. Subway is bigger. You get veggies inside. Bigger. <laughs> Try it. It's a ham and cheese sandwich for seven euro. Seven Canadian. Like bad eating, like a bite of that. Like I just took a bite of a dollar. There's more than seven bites in this. <laughs> it is good though. The meat is really good. Yeah, it's not, it's not, and the cheese is good too. It's good, but it's nothing like outstanding. <coughs> I wonder. I feel like maybe if it was, if we got the hot stuff, it probably would taste better. I'm gonna eat these and let you know. Yeah, we'll try the boys. So the boys just got their food. Show us what you got. What's your food haul look like? Pastrami. The cheese is just melted. Do you like? Yours or mine? mine. Yours? Yeah, I prefer mine. yours too, I'm not gonna lie. Four hours later, we're now on a boat in the canal, and oh look God, who God. we're with. Oh, we're T and Captain Lawrence, where is he? Lawrence, say hi. He's not listening. So we're going on a little boat cruise along the canal. Very romantic. We're a triple date. We're going on a triple date boat cruise down the canal tonight for the sunset. Hopefully the sun sets before we leave. For <laughs> dusk. We're dusk. For dusk. Dusk. We're here for dusk, All as right. Mel says. I hope we find some really cute now. Start her up. I'm gonna put your coffee here. Oh yeah, sorry. No, no, don't say sorry. Shame. <laughs> 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 It's T's turn for her photo shoot. I just don't know where we came from. So. Ah. <laughs> what happened? Struggle sauce. <laughs> this is what happens behind the scenes when creating content. You touch tips with flowers. Wow, so cute. Oh my God. Don't lose your shoe. Yeah. Boop him on the nose. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> okay. Go. Guys, come on. <laughs> Try to drive over here. Friends and jackets. This is what we mean by jackets. So Mel got this recommendation by the boat guy to come meet here and now I have the classic theme jacket. Potato jacket. Potato jacket. Potato skins. Oh, is that what they call it? Yeah. Good morning and welcome to the official full day one of our Amsterdam trip. It is April 20th. It is right now. What time is it? It is 9 o'clock. So we're gonna head out right now to go shoot some quick looks before we head back and grab our final outfits. And then we're gonna actually go to a museum today. And that we're gonna check that out. I know Peter is super excited. So excited for a museum. Hey, you like museums. We're about to head out. I'm wearing this like full <laughs> pink suit. I actually got quite a few suits with me on this trip because I looked at the weather and it wasn't like too warm. I learned my lesson in New Orleans when I brought on full on summer outfits, which essentially were just like slinky summer dresses. And I was like, mm, not gonna happen, especially early in the morning when we're shooting, it was frigid. So wearing more this time around, totally okay with it. I think it looks cute. So let's head out and I'll show you location number one. It is so pretty. So we have this perilous set of steps to go down. And uh, yeah, as you no can see, they are tiny. My foot doesn't even fully fit on it. So let's just try not to die as I walk down this. Feet. <laughs> and just when you guys thought that these stairs were done, they are not. There is another set. This is even worse than Paris, I think. We made it, friends! Yay! We're 
Where's David? Wow, look how tiny he is on the way up there. Good morning, Amsterdam. This is our beautiful building. Wow. And we're on the top floor. That's how many stairs we just walked down, guys. Super scary. We made it to the very first location of the day, and it is so pretty. I have to show you guys. This is shoot location number one, guys. Look at the wisteria. Oh, yeah. So pretty. And then over that side, it goes all the way up to the building, and it comes all the way down here. Wow. So gorgeous. And then it goes all the way down to there. It's so thick. Why don't we have wisteria in Toronto? I swear. Exactly. <laughs> we have like everything except wisteria. This looks like London. It essentially looks like London. bakery spot here and they had oh dear lord <laughs> if you guys haven't met mel meet mel this is my best friend she's kind of loco okay but see then she has that side you're like a heckled a jekyll hyde jekyll hyde guys <laughs> this lady is interesting <laughs> i'm nice i promise sometimes sometimes picking up some food here we all spied these like delicious spinach feta pastry things inside this bakery so we're gonna get that for breakfast go back drink another massive cup of coffee and then pack up our stuff for the day out i think we're gonna pop into this little cafe called Polaberry. it's owned by this girl that i follow on instagram her name is um cola burr this stuff is super cute and honestly because of her and one of the girl iris i fell in love with amsterdam years ago and i'm so excited that we're here we just shot at like that stunning wisteria doorway and like i still can't get over it i can't it's just too pretty so food time but well, we just got our little wraps this is the bakery that we're at right now and they're actually really well known for these rolled pizzas which i think we want to come back and try one of these days that we're here they actually cut them into like little strips like this and it's kind of like a breadstick it looks so good just gave this little pastry guy a go and it's so good it's really nice and light to be honest i thought it'd be really dense because it's like a pastry filled with like savory stuff but it's really good Outfit number two is complete. Well, this is not actually the skirt I'm gonna be wearing. I switched into this one so I can bike in it. My actual skirt is way too long and roughly to go biking in, so it's gonna go safe into my backpack so I don't kill myself while biking. We're gonna head off to this place called La Dress by Simone. It's also another entryway with a lot of flowers there, so really pretty as well. I'll show you what it looks like. Amsterdam is like full of these beautiful and super Instagrammable locations, so let me know if you guys would like some sort of like blog post summarizing all the perfect places to go to to get a perfect photo yes, from your name, Sudan. Yes, please. Look who we've met up with again. It's friend number one. Friend number two. Where is friend number two? Friend number two is hiding on the floor. You're so pretty, Lawrence. <laughs> You're so nasty. <laughs> what are you doing? What is happening here? I've taken over the vlog video. Lawrence is creeping. One, two, three, go. What are you people doing? This is what happens when you shoot. You stand next to people's boat homes and then you salute. We are currently heading off to the Mocha Museum. It is a contemporary modern art museum. I think there's Banksy here. What else is there? Cause oh a Kusama exhibit and a couple of things. I think Team Lab just opened up a room as well, so it's gonna be really cool. We just purchased no our tickets ways. online, which is a tip for you guys. If you want to come in here, buy your tickets online, you save a whole euro, which is like a dollar fifty Canadian. So worth it. from Banksy called Crisis Shopping Bags and it's really interesting because it's all about consumerism about Christmas and how this holy day is now situated 
on shopping. Because we're in the Crystal Ball Cave, and it's big, but it's filled with people. So I hope you guys can hear me. Well, after many hours later, we have now wound up at a place called Cafe Lanep, and we're getting some dinner before tonight's activities. It looks really good. I got this mini with lamb. Not the biggest fan of clams, but hopefully they'll taste good. Peter got an entire baby chicken. Wow, it makes me sound awful. <laughs> no, it like I mean like it's a small size chicken. Yes. How, how does it taste? Have you had any so far? No, I'm trying to rip off this drumstick. Dab also got some new minutes. Melissa got a hamburglar. If anybody knows that reference, we got you 90s babies. Morning. It is Sunday, April 21st, and we're on our full second day in Amsterdam. I really have no idea what I filmed up oh, until yesterday, but essentially after the Moku Museum, yeah, yeah. we kind of just like biked around, we got some food to eat, and then went back home, chilled for a little bit, and then drank before we headed out for the night. I had like a little bit too much wine. I think I drank like more than half the bottle by myself, so I kind of passed out once I got home afterwards. I don't really remember much that happened last night, but that's okay. I woke up feeling perfectly fine this morning. It's a slight little hangover. Just chug a bottle of water though, and I'm okay now. So. Day's about to get started. Let's do this. We're not wasting any time today. So we are currently in a place called Cafe Blonde. Yeah, Cafe Blonde Amsterdam. And it's super cute. It's just like really pink. We originally tried to go into the avocado show, which is like actually right behind us on another street over this morning. And we want to go at 9 a.m. because it's going to open. But right now it's currently 12. So when we got there, there was like a lineup like out the door. It looks like it's probably at least a minimum 30 to 45 minute wait. So we're like... No, we're gonna come back another day for sure because I'm not leaving Amsterdam until I try it It's like one of the number one restaurants that I've been dying to go to the past like two or three years So definitely gonna make a mission to get to there before we head out But we're gonna have breakfast here first Chill for a little bit and then finally go to the Rijk Museum that we're gonna go to yesterday But we found out that they close at five so we want to make sure we had just enough time to pop in today Hopefully five hours is enough time for us to uh, get everything that we want done because it's a massive, massive place. So I'll give you guys a quick like show around of space and then I'll show what the food looks like once we get it. granola yogurt parfait because we've been eating quite heavily recently and I want us to be a little bit healthier. Chips and a sandwich for breakfast. Interesting choice. Yeah. What did you get Dave? Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Omelette with salmon. Interessante. Nom nom nom. <laughs> up our brunch shot some photos and we're now actually at the Reich Museum I think I think it's like the largest museum here it's yeah like the most popular one in yeah, all yeah. of the Netherlands so we're gonna yeah. head in yeah. and there's a couple places we want to shoot at because it looks really cool this is like massive library here otherwise we're just gonna spend the day well the majority of the day exploring and taking it in let's go time's a ticking let's go okay let's go
We've made it in. Oh, it's hot in here. Yeah, it's humid. Holy. It's humid. We've made it into the Reich Museum and it is really humid and hot in here. I think it mainly is because of the sun on the ceiling above us, but we're gonna go to the washroom room really quickly and then head inside. Globes used to be sold in pairs, one of the map and then one of constellations. So you get two globes for one. been quite a few hours since you guys probably last saw us in the vlog. We originally were... He's tired. So we were originally at the... This is what I deal with on a regular basis, guys. <laughs> so after the Reich Museum, we kind of went back home, dropped off our stuff. Well, we visited the flower market as well, just to check it out and see what was up so Got that we can go back and shoot tomorrow. Yes, the boys did get McDonald's. Mel finally found her peonies. That she's been what hunting she for her fake peonies. Oh, peonies. Yeah, <laughs> fake peonies. Ballin. And then we went back home, dropped off her stuff, and actually we no. repacked everything in our bags and headed back out to grab some last minute sunset shots just because it was so pretty tonight and we've been dying to get some sunset shots on the trip so far. So we managed to shoot three outfits in the span of like one hour, I think, right? Like an hour and a half. That's the fastest we've ever shot three outfits back to back to back. So kudos to us, I'm very impressed. We're currently now at a place called Winkle 43. I have been reading blog posts online everywhere and Mel's been getting a lot of recommendations from people and everyone's literally telling us to come here for the apple pie. So we came here for the apple pie, but we're also getting some snacks because we're quite hungry and haven't eaten in quite a while so let's get munching Cheers. Cheers. so food is here if you guys couldn't tell looks delicious these are cheese sticks so it's actually recommended to us by our waitress and also we got this cool dutch sausage and also these things called bitter bun, which is very well known in um, dutch culture it's like meatballs I guess of some sort. They look yeah, kind of cool. Part. How was your cheese stick? Tastes good. Dangerously cheesy. Ooh, fantastic! I like cheese. Okay, calm down. The food, the gun. Wow, I've had one cheese stick and I'm eating one meatball. You need to calm down. God damn it, Dave. Oh, I'm just so good. You were right. The main reason we came here is here. This is the famous Winkle 43's apple pie. Wow, this is massive. So. I can't remember the prices, but there's this price for just the pie. How much? Three euros and 40 cents. Kind of how much with the cream? Four euros you and 30 cents. Four of those? That's if you get it with the cream. So if you guys don't want the cream, you can pay a little bit less. But we've been highly recommended to get it with the cream. It's apparently too delicious. And also, Mel has provided me with the info that apparently it pairs really well with their mint tea, which is literally just boiling water and fresh mint, which is kind of cool. So we're going to try this out and let you guys know the verdict. Looks so good. How is it? First, it's a pie crust. <laughs> get some apple in there. I'm trying. This is really good. How good? Wow. Really, really good. Wow. I don't even really like wow. Apple. Wow, that's a big piece. Oh, damn. How is that one? Mmm. Time for me to try it. You're done. guys today is monday april 22nd we're here on officially full day three in amsterdam we woke up this morning around like 5 30 it's currently like seven ish we're taking a bunch of photos this morning close to sunrise before the city gets like super busy we have some like really cool lighting up here it's like orangey kind of yellow and then behind me on this side it's probably really hard to tell right now because the camera's probably super blown out but it's kind of like orangey at the base 
It was like a deep blood orange when we first woke up this morning. So pretty. We just finished our first shot in this area near the National Monument. I'm not too sure what the building behind me is called, but that's actually what we're shooting. We'll see it on my Instagram. Otherwise, we're gonna head off to the really cool Damson Ladies in Damrak right now. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like because there's this like gingerbread looking house here. It's really cute. We finished shooting at the dancing houses and we're now at this place called Re7, which we've actually tried to go to twice so far this week. And every single time that we were here, they were either completely packed and we couldn't get a table or it just wasn't the right time. And by the time we waited to get a table, we would have needed to do something else. So we actually decided to come back here super early this morning. They open at 9 o'clock. We want to show up at 8.30, but unfortunately, we had to stick around for about half an hour. We're finally in here and we are the first ones in. We're definitely gonna get all the space to shoot that we wanted to today. Uh, we just placed our food to order and I really wanna show you these really cool milkshakes that they make here and that's what they're most well known for. So insane. So. I'm getting poke toast. It has raw salmon, so avocado, has like cherry tomatoes, and sesame. This is the rest course. of the menu Natural. as well. Yeah. There's so much that it's you can get here. These called? are the milkshakes that we're gonna get, and they're called freak shakes. I'm so excited to try this. We're also waiting in queue to get tickets for the Anne Frank house because they sell out about two months in advance, and they gotta log online every morning at around 9 a.m to get into queue. Currently at 5.33. I started around like seven or something. Peter unfortunately got all the way down to like number seven. And then what happened? <laughs> Trying again to see if we have any luck on our side. Hopefully you can get tickets for today. Live update, it is now switched to 4.54. Yay! We're well, getting there friends, we're point ninety five. The food has finally arrived and I wanna show you guys. Looks like it looks so good. It is my poke toast. That's delicious. Yum. Mm -hmm. Grilled this chicken. Mmm. And then Mel got the eggs penny with smoked Brioche. salmon. Well, Dave got two plates to himself that he melded. I'm hungry. You meld your breakfast. And Peter also got the eggs penny. <coughs> oh my gosh, this brioche toast looks so good. Mm. Chow and yams. We're at the two person mark. We're at the two person mark, guys. Can we make it? Let's see how long it takes so I can get a ticket. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, it says we are not getting tickets today. Meh. Gonna have to try again tomorrow. I know, but then it updated that it's sold out. Sad face. We'll, we'll try again. We essentially have like two ish more mornings here that we could potentially do it. So. We'll see. Oh well, now we eat. So I forgot to show you guys what our milkshakes look like. They finally arrived, that smells. Mine would essentially be like that, except we just took photos and mine fell into this stupid canal. So, yep, we only have Mel's left. And quite a few hours since I last checked in with you guys, and since then we essentially went home after brunch, took a nap because we were so tired from the last couple of days. We've been going around a lot, and then we did some fun little shopping. We're actually out right now shooting some more sunset photos. We just stumbled upon a spot the day kind of mapped us to. It's apparently a bunch of tiny houses between houses. You'll have to see what I mean to like really understand this. So if you notice here, this building is 70 and the immediate building to the right of it actually is 54, where Dave's head is. Because of a large discrepancy between 54 and 70, somebody decided to go in and put little tiny houses in between the two of them to make up for the lack there of a 16 some units. How hilarious is that? Dave's head for reference. It's my head. It's your head. It's my head. Size of house. These are the tight ones. They're so cute. And, these are... and for reference, to show you what yeah, it actually looks like, they're tiny, tiny, tiny guys. Like literally tiny. AGTV tiny house. Oh, no, it's yours now. That's all the poop from this morning. 